Well, we have in the studio a filmmaker, Theophilos Akatugba, with us to talk more on this. Good morning, Theophilos. Good morning, morning Theophilos. <laughs> it feels funny <laughs> calling <laughs> Calling me Theophilos and calling you Theophilos. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> All right, now there's been so much frenzy about um, reaction re with regards um, Lion has been dropped uh, out of uh, the Oscars in the category it was meant to be in. I wonder what your reaction to this is as a filmmaker now, critically. Well, as a filmmaker, the first thing that comes to me is um, an attempt to make a great leap and you couldn't reach the height and you drop suddenly, unfortunately. Uh, it would have been good for Nigeria to be represented, even if we didn't win. Uh, to be disqualified is not in, in a good light, uh, because it, it tends to show us as a, a people who are not thorough in mm. processes, you know, not because we didn't make a good film, but because the process, the simple requirement was misunderstood. Mm. Mm. And I, 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 a bit, I, I didn't find it surprising that we misunderstood it. Really? Why? Yes. One of the greatest problems we have here is that we don't understand who we are. Mm. And so because you don't understand, the global space will, un will define who you mm. are until you define yourself. The world of filmmaking is an expression of the art of a people. Okay. And it can only be duly expressed in the language artifact. So if that movie was done in Igbo language predominantly, Absolutely it would have, have gone. sailed through. Because what they ask you to do is that they don't see you as an English speaking Country. nation because yeah. you are not English. But we are multilingual. Your multilingualness does not defy the fact that those 500 languages don't exist. They exist. The Indian films expresses in Hindi language and mm. other forms of language. So the fact that we were colonized by the British does not even come to play? At all, at all. Because they said to you that you must make this movie must be predominantly for a language other than English. There is no way the Yorubos will make Yoruba films better than the Yoruba. So if Yorubos <laughs> enter a Yoruba film festival with a Yoruba film made in Yorubo land, even if you have three great speakers of the Yoruba language born in Ife, there will be others who will bastardize it to the annoying of the panel. Mm. And so there's no, we speak English as a form of communication, but, but that but is But generally, not our, our movies are done in English. Should not, that be uh, one of the criteria as well? Not generally. Our movies are done in several languages. Yeah, Absolutely. but majorly. Not majorly, too. Even okay. majorly are done in Hausa and Yoruba, Yoruba. languages. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the most popular ones that crosses the boundaries are the English language films. And so if we tell yourself that, oh, the English is so nice, well spoken, mm. to the Englishman, you have just, you've been speaking a dialectic English that offends him. Mm. Does it make him feel? So we are not seen as English. So when we came in with English, we look ridiculous. And so we were thrown out for that reason. One thing is not because it's not a good picture, not a good uh, directorial approach, for which I must praise JNV for our giant strides. Mm. Uh, but you see, you have, to, you have to understand when you go to the global space and understand that but they are very strict with mm. rules and, and regulations. regulations. With our reaction, do you think that we have really understood that um, these people are stringent when it comes to rules and regulation? Because she's saying that the English is the, the it's what bridged the gap. That is, that is sentimental. That is not what they are considering. It's not what bridges your gap they're interested in. They are looking at how did you enter the competition in accordance with the rules. Mm. So she's been sentimental. So how, what kind of, uh, how do you think we should move on from here now, especially when it comes to our indigenous movies? <laughs> it starts from here. Just take a look at the budget defense. I'm going to take you away. The, the culture, the director of the art council got a hundred million naira and he was speaking to the senators that it is when you get this right that you solve the problem of this country. They did not understand it. In fact, I'm not surprised they cannot understand it. Hmm. Because without a culture which is gotten right, you will have to cure many problems on end. Hmm. Because okay. we don't know who we are. If you acculturize your people well about good health practices, you will, treat, you will have to have fewer hospitals because they behave healthily. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the culture is that they, they, they are healthy people. If you are culturized properly, you will have to solve less problems in society, less robbery, because the culture will frown at it. Okay. But when you lose all these things, everything goes out of hand. So we, lesson to be learned is that 
we are a people of culture colonized by the West with the Western artifact of language and many, many things implanted in us so that we lose our direction. If we can understand that, so that our movies will do better in our local language. For example, if you sing in the church and the, 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 the song is your local language song. There is a way you connect with the worship Absolutely. connection differently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so looking at this movie now, away from the disqualification, Lionheart was the only movie, or one movie per country though, was the only movie that, was, uh, that went to the Oscars. What does this say about our movies and how can we fare from here? Well, it, didn't, it was not the only that went. It was the one that they selected changing, because yeah. we had the local the local selection committee yes. um, headed by the lady who produces EJ yeah. okay. and uh, my friend Sh Shaibu Hussaini mm -hmm. is also part of that. You know, they, in their wisdom, selected that. I'm sure they must have seen other movies. So whatever reason why they chose that and didn't pay attention to that clause is where we have the fault. For me, there are many other movies and Lion had been our first to go there good plus for Genevieve, but not so much for us as a country. Which other movies could have done? Well, I don't know exactly the titles, but they did not just pick one and select one. They must have looked at others. All yeah. right, your fellows are Katiba. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. It's been a pleasure. We have uh, filmmaker Theophilos Akatugba with us in the studio to talk about this. Thank you for joining us, Theophilos. Theophilos, Theophilos. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. Well, he's a filmmaker and, uh, and a broadcaster. It's lovely. So of course, we know, uh -huh. we know. To, to, to be here as a deputant in your beautiful studio. Oh, thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Awesome. Perhaps you may come and shoot a movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's um, talk about Lion Hat and the fact that it was disqualified. We have established the fact that there's been so much um, arguments back and forth or controversy with regards to its disqualification. But one thing that stands out in all of this argument uh, while we spoke is the fact that our identity, if we do not understand our identity, some other persons will give us an identity. We define who you are. Or we define <laughs> who we are. But Nollywood has been over 20 years now. Yeah. Are we still struggling to understand who we are? Because I, I'm struggling to understand that aspect. Uh, yes, you are, you are struggling because Nollywood uh, understands who we are. Okay. But for commercial reason, it's unable to carry Int forth that projection consistently. Really? The reason is that we are always trying new things. We are not able to hold down a consistent identity. Mm. You know, so because of that, everything is taking new forms every day, and that is when the people are not proud of their of who they are. Uh, there was a time we went to the Berlin Film Festival, and Sharon Khan, one popular actor from India, was there, and we had Kate Henshaw as well, and uh, speaking for Nigeria, and some other actress from Germany. Now, what they were looking at then is that what. Is it about bear it all, meaning exposing it all? And that the Indian film have been consistent with keeping, yeah. keeping it under wrap. And Shah Rukh Khan was not apologetic. He was speaking to the international audience about the Indian culture, which is projected predominantly in their movies, mm. in music, in dance, including clothing and every other but, artifact. But, but they are beginning to take up the, the foreign, Western. Uh, the Western style well even though that is uh, subtle the hindi cinema mm. is still predominantly hindi they have not totally you know you still look at a picture and say this is Indian. absolutely that's the point mm. you don't even need dialogue you just need to see the picture and say this is an indian movie because a lot of it is filled up with indian artifact from dressing from culture from religion from worship from all manner of behavior, from romantic exposures, either exposure or under exposure. Mm. You can look at a picture and look at it until you hear the dialogue and other things because it is a Nigerian picture. You know, so a film should represent, if you see an Arab movie, you see the artifact quickly, straightforward. Mm. But so here in this we need to understand <coughs> that a movie is, is a transporter of the way and life of a people. Initially in Nollywood, yeah. we used to do movies that talk about our culture. 
the, we'll go to villages and shoot movies and all of that. But yeah. a lot of our Nollywood produ um, film milk, filmmakers uh, do not go home cashing out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, for because business the essence of because making a film in the first place is to <laughs> make money. So yeah. if we're doing a movie that is local in in in, in appreciation and all of that, mm -hmm. and they're not making money in the cinemas, no, they they do make money. It's about the presentation. There is no culture that is presented in a proper form of art that will not be appreciated. Is it maybe the person? Most of the people don't even know where they are from. There are people who are from um, Eket. They've never been there. There's the, that's why we have research. That's it. But they don't even do research. People have a phone, but you tell them even simplest things they don't know. You employ someone and you give him a brief, he can't even find out how to write a good letter. So the word research is the part of our system to find out things. Yeah. So we don't find out. In fact, you sometimes be surprised that we've not kept a good library of stories and historical facts. To the extent that most of the great books about the so great history the of Nigeria of this, are not written what by What are Nigerians. the implications? Sir? The implication is that we are losing our, we're losing the essence of who we are. There's no consistent understanding of who we are. For example, we are finding it difficult to, to, to accept that we are not speak, we are not English speaking nation. <laughs> it's a shock to everybody. Mm. Everybody say, "Wow, you mean we are not English speaking?" Because we believe we are colonized, and so that is who we are. Your colonization is first; it's an aberration. So if the world does not recognize you as That's a English colonized speaking. and change. You are not English speaking, okay. mm. but you are colonized. So you need to always dig it. That's why Africans have not found their alphabets. How many African countries? My name, which is Ejo Mafui, can only be written with English alphabet. But the Indians have the alphabet, the Chinese. This Absolutely. is the cross of scientific breakthrough. If you don't know who you are, your science, your ingenuity is in your culture. Mm. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Theophilos Akatuba, for your time on TVC Breakfast. It's a pleasure. All right, we have uh, filmmaker Theophilos Akatuba with us in the studio to talk more on this. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you for inviting me. All right. Now, beyond the, the clamor to have been recognized uh, by the Oscars, we had the opportunity, and we have lost that opportunity now. And the question or the issue on the mouth of a lot of Nigerians is the fact that there are other categories, not just this. What would it take for us to, you know, take a hold of that stage as Nollywood? We are mature to be able to be on that stage. Look at Slumdog Millionaire. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know, it got into that uh, slot. Yeah, what did it take? But it's made, uh, it's made in, Nollywood, uh, in Bollywood. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, we need to always understand the rules of any game. Because this is disqualification as a result of rules, not because we didn't make a good movie. Mm. So the movie Lionheart is highly recommended. Because it's not a movie that is bad. The disqualification is not on, as a result of quality. Absolutely. So it met all of that, but it did not follow the rule. So once we get that clear, so that we don't begin to beat ourselves up, thinking that it's the quality of Nollywood that is, that, is under, um, that is under scrutiny. So we have been able to achieve that. And so what we must do as going forward is understanding where we are and locate our movies, locate them as Nigerian movies. For example, if you shoot a movie in English language, this is why most times when we go out to international film events, festivals and all of that, I notice that when the Nigerian movies start running, I notice that international audiences from all over the world, they will start with a full hall and within the first 10, 15 minutes, the hall is almost empty. Because they find that they, they, they find these people speaking a foreign language and doing it badly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they keep going out because they are not connecting with the film. But if you go to films, Argentina uh, cinema, where you see the films from Argentina, from some of these Polish films, the, the audience is quiet till the end because they read the subtitles and try to connect with the essence of the people. And the movies are simply not as good as the ones from our side. But we've been going for these festivals yeah. over time. How is it that we haven't picked that lesson to, you know, to find that in our movies? That is the point. Because we have not understood that we're expressing ourselves in a, in a foreign language. Do you know the statement this has made? 
It's surprising to everyone. Say, oh, you mean we, what do you mean? You mean we are not English speaking? Mm. People don't understand. Take a look at the effort with which we use English to qualify people for intelligence. If you don't speak <laughs> impeccable English, you're not an intelligent man. Mm. And so we find that even in states where the language, the people are predominantly homogeneous one language, in their house where laws are debated, they still speak English. Okay, so what, what about shooting movies in Pigeon English? Very good. If, like you had prese- if you had presented that movie, you see the power of the Pigeon English mm-hmm. to the extent that BBC had to create a, a whole radio channel. is because the language has become recognized that Google has the Pigeon English uh, translation page. Mm. It tells you that that Ligua, that Franca, that one we've created, is still is something identifiable to us that you go to South Africa today because of our movies they speak some pidgin English. Mm. So that is ours. If they had done that movie in pidgin English, it would have flown. Or if they had presented because people there are some some cross section of Nigerians are saying that the sentiments there were sentiments involved. So there was the movie Mokalik that had yeah. you know pidgin dominantly, dominantly pidgin. Why wasn't it presented? No, those questions are coming. Okay, up. that point. We will go, those are the politics behind the scene. Mm. People are saying that why did you avoid the ones that would have done well or yeah. even enter yeah. and not win than to be disqualified before entry? That, I, can, I don't know why, but whatever that is, that can be given as credit to Genevieve and her team for mm. strong negotiation of PR. I don't know what they did. When I mentioned that, people say, no, 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 don't say that, but I know there's always the issue of okay let's push this because this has got netflix this might this might fly but commercial success of a film does not talk about its okay. artistic success mm. these are two different things great right. commercial success does not talk about or determine the artistic success no. thank you so much Theophilus Akatuba, for your time on tvc Breakfast. it's a pleasure being here